look I'm always at home for a few days now so I thought maybe a little take out you know you're used to the mukbang type of videos before but now I suppose oh yeah I got the discount right here I'm not sure if you could see it or if I should flip the image I'll check it out later but since we love to eat I know you do too we're going to gonna open this up I got this on a discount so the price isn't as high but still they got this always expensive especially for a small item such as this I'm gonna put that outside we have some seaweed also and some spring rolls healthy some scissors for a cleaner cut there we go then we're gonna put take this out and there's your seaweed I'm gonna put this out of course we're not gonna eat that here's our seaweed this is called sushi bake and it got popular actually during the covid season the order doesn't come with the utensils so i have my own here oh wait the sauce i think is for this spring roll so i'm just gonna put it here so i won't get it mixed up again peanut sauce hmm this is your aburi sushi Actually, it's baked kalimaki. It's creamy. There's kani, mango, seaweed, some sesame seeds. The rice isn't as sticky. It's just ordinary rice, but does the job as well. So it's not bad if you're craving baked sushi. But if you know any baked sushi that delivers, maybe it's on Instagram. Maybe you can comment down below. Spring roll, you see, it has greens, candy, cucumber, if I'm not mistaken. There's also a carrot, but it's only a slice. So I'm not sure if you could see it right there, but it's a fresh snack, not too heavy, but the cheese here and the rice makes this overall heavy. If you haven't had anything for a long time, suddenly you just crave it and then find yourself ordering but it's worth it so worth it mm. look at that mm -hmm. in case you're wondering this is from winsome sushi mayon street philippine mangoes are always the best i missed it so much it's been like what two years since i last had one the rice the mayo i know this is just the japanese mayo you could buy on the grocery store but still it hits pretty good mm -hmm. one of the reasons i stopped mukbang is also that i'm not a strong eater as you can see at this point i'm already feeling full a little full so maybe I'll just cut it right here. Of course, I'll still finish this within the day, but not in one sitting. Now, the reason I have the confidence to talk about it in my YouTube channel is because there are no people watching this. Well, at least I'm confident that there isn't as much people who will see this compared to when I post my other social media platforms. People who know me in real life already know this, but it's still embarrassing to admit that I have sweaty palms and sweaty feet. It's so embarrassing because for the palms, I have to wipe my hands off or my palms before shaking somebody's hand. I can't even touch anyone without worrying if my hands are wet or not. Now for the feet, it's a different problem because for the feet, the problem is that sometimes when you walk, you can feel the water and other times it's so bad that there's a certain kind of smell. Now I found the solution. It's a plastic, then you're going to put something 
like this, stainless steel, if I'm not mistaken. And on top of that, we're gonna put the towel. Now, this video isn't sponsored, and I got this when it was just introduced. So, it's been a long time, and it was cheaper back then than it is now, if you look it up. It's called Derma Dry. And basically, what this does is you're gonna fill it with water, just enough to submerge your hands. Now, we're going to bring this all the way back. Honestly, I don't know the cost of this because I got it ever since I was a little girl and uh, My mom used to have it also, but she said that it's it disappeared as she aged now. I'm already 20 plus the same thing doesn't disappear. It doesn't apply to me. So I have to do this every once in a while i don't do this anymore every day since i learned that if i use it too much my hands get so dry that the skin peels off it's not a good feeling and also not a good thing if i stop doing this then the sweat returns so this is not a permanent solution but it helps out drastically so you can see here that it already starts up after i connected it to the power then we're gonna select the hands the voltage or the current depends on what you can take but i usually go for six for my hands and then around nine to ten for my feet this will last for 20 minutes and if you're wondering if it hurts no it doesn't it just feels like a lot of tiny ants biting or nibbling on you but it rarely hurts unless the voltage is higher than what you could handle so while you are using it you could also lower the voltage so no problem with that or maybe even stop it completely as long as you get it 20 minutes on your hands 20 minutes on your feet if you're like me that have sweaty palms and sweaty feet i'm done with my hands next up my feet so once that is ready you're just going to hold this then it will blink green now once I place my feet, both of them, in the water, it will be a solid green and you know that it's going to start. You see, it's going to move. The numbers are already moving. In the same way, when it's nearing its end, you will see the numbers go down and the timer back to zero. So you don't have to worry of overdoing it. If you're curious, the medical term for this is hyperhidrosis. Now the link for what I used is down below. And you can also check their website to learn more about the condition and the treatment. And as always, thank you for watching until the end. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!